Fundamentally, my role is to commentate what is happening there and then. I'm Matthew Hill and I'm the course broadcaster at Flemington and I call the Melbourne Cup. Ready to go, set to run, and they're racing in the Melbourne Cup. It is a remarkable thing to think that for three minutes of the year, um, most Australians will hear my voice somewhere. And uh, with 500 metres to go on the first We're lap. a young country. We don't have that many traditions when you think about it. And I think most racing jurisdictions envy that we have a horse race that stops a nation. Growing up as a, a Melbourne lad, as a Western Suburbs lad, I was only, uh, you know, brought up 20 minutes from Flemington Racecourse. Every time uh, Grandad and I would go to the races, we'd either go to to Flemington or one of the nearby race courses and in the lead up to the Melbourne Cup I'd ask him you know what do you like in the cup and he'd say yeah, what's Bart got that was always the the real thrill for five or six weeks leading in working out what Bart Cummings has got and could he win the Melbourne Cup again I don't think there's many sporting events in the world where one commentator gets to talk to so many people at once. You know, there might be AFL Grand Finals or NRL Grand Finals, but there might be five or six commentators doing the same thing. Whereas the Melbourne Cup, there's one person, one voice. You can't make a mistake in it because everyone will pick up on it. That's the reason why the Cup's so hard to do. I think Vow and Declare for me was a big moment because of the internationalisation of the race, which has changed the Melbourne Cup a lot, but it's also brought the Melbourne Cup to the world, which it had to do. You don't see finishes like that in horse racing, wherever you go in the world. But to have that one Australian bred horse, ridden by Craig Williams, who'd never won a Melbourne Cup, he'd won everything else, trained by Danny O'Brien, very much an Aussie story, and to win in the dramatic circumstances that he did, for me, uh, will be a, a highlight race uh, probably for my career. And that's the exciting part. We don't know what it's going to be in 2021. Could be an Aussie, could be an Irishman, could be a story we don't, haven't even unearthed yet. But it'll be a story and it'll, it'll be famous.